Here is another skin tumor. Notice most of the dermis is normal. Notice in many parts the epidermis looks pretty normal as well. Notice here's a skin appendage which is a sebaceous gland and a hair follicle. Notice here's a uh, sweat gland and probably here it is as well. The one thing that I probably do not have to direct to your attention for noticing however is the fact that there is a very dense heavy infiltrate of these lymphoid looking cells in the superficial reticular dermis perhaps extending a little bit into the papillary dermis but in many areas the papillary dermis looks spared notice however that the same types of cells look like they are involving the uh, epidermis as well in terms of causing these little uh, abscesses and I use the word abscess loosely because abscesses usually are of um, neutrophils. In this case, these little collections of inflammatory cells infiltrating into the dermis are lymphocytes, which they shouldn't do. And for that reason, this makes it malignant. Notice that there's a little abscess there, there's a little abscess there, there's a little one there, there's a little one there. Notice that in some cases, these lymphocytes infiltrate the epidermis uh, singly as well. I will admit that the lymphocytes themselves, on first glance, look kind of like normal lymphocytes. If you look closer, however, at our highest power here, some of them look a little dark, bumpy, larger, bent. These are really not quite that normal lymphocytes, although I'll admit they don't look that horrible, but they are behaving horribly. They shouldn't be infiltrating the epidermis. So if you suspected that this was a lymphocytic lymphoma involving the dermis and extending into the epidermis, you were right. And because many of the lymphocytes that reside in the skin are of T-cell origin, this is a malignant T-cell lymphoma. Also given the name mycosis fungoides, which is really a misnomer because it's not mycosis at all. It's not fungal at all. It is a cutaneous T-cell lymphoma of the skin, primary. Let's back off a little bit and see if the margins are involved. Well, if this indeed was the exact surgical margin, it looks like it is involved. If this indeed was the surgical margin of the other specimen, it looks like it's involved as well. But let's take another little look at these cells. Up here, they look like they're kind of sparing the papillary dermis. Here's a little microabscess within the epidermis. Here the cells are surrounding some blood vessels. Here are the cells uh, causing these little microabscesses again. Uh, here it's worse. Um, looks like they're kind of spared this uh, little gland here. Looks like they don't uh, infiltrate the hair follicle per se, but if you notice where the follicle opens up into the uh, superficial or surface epidermis, we have some uh, malignant lymphocytes involving that as well. Uh, So mycosis fungoides is another name for primary cutaneous T-cell lymphoma. Thank you very much.